A Caribbean bank formerly owned by Barclays has been targeted by U.S. tax authorities seeking information on suspected American tax evaders. It's part of a cross-border investigation between tax authorities in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia, and it's potentially the biggest crackdown on tax evaders in history. So this is a fascinating story. It's not getting much press. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because do you have any idea how rare this is? I mean, how often do you hear about the IRS cracking down on offshore tax havens and the rich tax evaders? Because I got news for you. It's not uh, Terry the construction worker who's got his money uh, overseas uh, hidden away in the Caribbean. It's probably a mega rich guy, right? So uh, this reminds me, I was getting attacked on uh, Twitter I think it was about a week ago when I did the video about how Rand Paul was defending Apple for basically just evading $2 billion in taxes. And the attack was hilarious because pe people would say to me, yeah, Kyle, you don't understand. What, they, what Apple was doing is legal. So don't attack them. Just calm down. Yeah, but dude, that's kind of my point. Now, I might have slipped in the video and said, uh, it's, it's illegal. It wasn't illegal. It was perfectly legal. But it's the whole idea of the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. Why is it, why is, uh, were all the headlines that Apple is dodging $2 billion in taxes? Because they use these complex tax schemes that are lobbied for uh, by the lobbyists of the corporations where they do all this tricky stuff and the next thing you know, they just dodge $2 billion in taxes. They're not supposed to not pay those $2 billion in taxes. It's not like it's, you know, something that's smiled at. It's frowned upon and rightfully so and they should close the loopholes immediately, right? Well... That's, again, why I'm so surprised that they're actually cracking down this time. Now, here are the two facts that just absolutely, positively blew my mind. I think we might have mentioned them in the past on the show, but I want to bring them up again. Because the, this shows you just how insane our tax system is. There's one building, a single address in the Cayman Islands, that has 18,000 companies registered to it. Why is that? Because all these different companies pretend like that's where they're working from. They set up shop there so that they uh, can hide from their taxes in the United States. 18,000 businesses. Now, are there actually people bringing, you know, their uh, brown bag lunch and suitcase walking in uh, day in and day out working? No, of course not. It's just a fucking P.O. box. It's another way of dodging taxes. And again, it's the rich and the corporations that are doing it. It's not a $60,000 a year earner. And on top of that, when you look at the total number, the industry of tax dodging, how much it's worth, it blows your mind, man. $20 trillion. <sighs> oh, our priorities are so fucked up, man. Any, uh, here's the thing. From now on, uh, there, nobody's allowed to talk about uh, deficit reduction and debt reduction until the first thing they want to close is the absurd tax loopholes. No, 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 I don't want to hear a peep out of the Republicans or the Democrats about the deficit and the debt and it's horrible and it's terrible and it makes me want to cry, man. It's so bad. All right, great. I agree with you. So let's uh, close all the absurd tax loopholes. I, I read schemes to you guys before on air. There's like the double Irish. I mean, they sound like fucking coffee orders. The double Irish uh, loophole where first they uh, buy a subsidiary that's in a different country and then that country links it to Ireland and the next thing you know, uh, boom, millions of dollars saved. Uh, no money for the government. Sorry about that. You know, here's the thing. If you want to have an argument about what the tax rate should be and what it shouldn't be, what's too high, what's too low, that's of course only the most reasonable discussion to have in a democracy and I, I agree and I encourage that discussion. But the second that somebody defends this. Okay, that is unpatriotic. If you're saying we're going to dodge taxes to the point that it's basically starving the government of, of revenue and we deficit spend to continue fucking wars, I mean, don't you realize part and parcel of being a, a patriot is paying your goddamn taxes?